Hey guys, Martha Mentor here back with another video. This video, I want to talk about how to get dedicated retail contracts for your box truck business. All right. Ever since I came on YouTube 15, 15 and a half months ago, there has been a misconception that I've heard over and over and over again about how to go about obtaining um, dedicated retail contracts for your box truck business. Now, what I've heard from a multitude of people is that, uh, you know, you can just go to a retailer, ask to speak to the manager, and that will start the process. You know, people have told me this from people that they've booked mentorships with or they book coaching and consultations with uh, as far as other creators in the space that supposedly specialize in final mal. But I want to I want to tell you, and, and I've, I've, I've said this over and over and over again, but I, I decided to make a video uh, specifically for uh, for this. That's 100 percent false. You cannot go into a retailer, a big box retailer, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Home Depot, Lowe's, ask to speak to a manager and tell them you got a box truck and expect for them to point you in the right direction and just give you loads out of that particular store to deliver goods. It doesn't work like that. And I'm gonna tell you why it doesn't work like that. One, it's a big box retailer, right? These big box, these big box retailers have locations all over the country, Home Depot, Lowe's, Best Buy, uh, Walmart, Sam's Club, you name it. They have locations all over the country. Imagine if they let Every single independent owner operator just come in the store and give them an opportunity. We have to manage thousands of ICs, right? They're not in the business of managing uh, logistics, ICs of of the of how things get from uh, uh, the warehouse to the to the end customer, the consumer uh, on the final mile lane. That's not what they do. What big box retailers do is they hire a few different 3PL companies across the country. None of these big box retailers put all their eggs in one basket. So, you know, they deal with a multitude of different 3PLs across the country. Um, and they allow the 3PLs to manage the final mile. All right. So for instance, Home Depot, Home Depot may, del uh, may deal with four different companies. Lowe's deals with a, 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 a couple different companies. Lowe's right now is dealing with RxO, UST, JB Hunt, Final Mal, and a few others. All right. And all across the country, you know, different, these different 3PL companies are handling Lowe's Freight, the Final Mal. The 3PL's job is to hire independent contractors to run the freight from their terminal to the customer. The 3PL are, companies are managing the ICs. All right. So instead of the big box retailers cutting thousands of checks to a multitude of ICs and having to manage that all across the country country. If they have four three PLs managing all their final mile freight across the country, then that means that's just four checks that they're cutting once a quarter. And then they, they, they let the three PLs deal with all the stress of a multitude of ICs five, six, seven days a week, depending on how many, days a week that particular contract runs in whatever particular market that's the way it works you can't go into home depot and say hey i got a 26 foot box truck who do i speak to about running freight it doesn't work like that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to point you in the right direction uh for you to go look to see if there are some 3pls uh companies in your market that are hiring either for curbside final mile or for big and bulky final mile all right, so I'm going to share my screen right now. All right, so um, I, I always like to use uh, Indeed, guys, as a reference point. I'm going to pull myself up on the screen. I'm also get rid of this here so you guys can see the full screen. I always use Indeed as a reference point uh, because a lot of companies now use Indeed uh, in, 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 in parallel with their own uh, company website to recruit and on board potential independent contractors. Now, I haven't even put anything into the search yet, but because I search opportunities all the time for box trucks, this is what's in my um, in my feed. So you see some here, Seaver Freight, non-CDL local box truck in Portland, 
uh, independent contractor, owner, operator uh, in Charlotte for Maersk. But what we're going to do is I'm going to put, and this is what you should put in, in the search. You put box truck and then owner operator, right? I'm going to leave this open because I'm not looking for any specific market, but you would put your market in uh, where, and then let's see what pops up. All right. So in Savannah, you Savannah, Georgia, you got an opportunity with T force for a 26 foot box truck. This is for a curbside opportunity. And shout out to everybody that, you know, watches my channel from Georgia that says, Mark, Mark, I, you know, I call I call T Force and I apply, but they ain't got back to me. And I say all the time, go there, go there, go there. They're unresponsive. You have to go there. They are hiring. You see it right here. All right. Um, here's an opportunity for Capstone in North Carolina. This is for a cargo sprinter box box truck driver. This is for a curbside opportunity. Um, I'm only looking at the big companies. I'm not looking at the independent owner operators who are looking for drivers for their company. Here's an opportunity for Cardinal Logistics in South Carolina. Um, where else? Where else? Where else? Where else? Here's an opportunity for UST in Dallas. This is for a big and bulky opportunity, about $4,500 a week. Uh, Ford Final Mile. This is an appliance big and bulky in Indianapolis, $6,000 a week. So that's how you go about finding these opportunities for big box retailers. Now, when you go to Indeed, it's going to say appliance delivery team like you see right here for Indianapolis, or it's going to say um, looking to hire for a large retailer for the Detroit, Michigan area. They're never going to tell you who the retailer is in the ad because a lot of these logistics companies have a non-disclosure agreement uh, with the retailer that they can't use the actual uh, retailer um, in their ads when they're looking to, when they're promoting, uh, looking for um, independent contractors, they can't use the retailer to draw in ICs. So that's why when you go on Indeed, none of the ads tell you the exact retailer. They just tell you, Hey, uh, UST, we're looking to hire um, independent contractors, teams of two uh, for a contract with a large retailer that work, runs six days a week. And we're going to pay you up to five thousand or six thousand dollars a week. And this is a six day a week run. This is how you go about getting a contract with a dedicated uh, dedicated contract, I should say, with the retailer. You 100 percent have to go through a third party logistics company. No big box retailer is going to give you and your one truck a contract, all right? Because they will have to give everybody across the country that same contract. And they're not in the business of dealing with a multitude of ICs. That's why they have logistics companies to handle that for them. All right. So guys, make sure that when you are, you know, hiring um, coaches and uh, uh, mentors uh, uh, you know, in, in, in whatever space it is that you're in, especially Final Mal, that you do a little bit of due diligence on them, do a little bit, bit of research, make sure that they're credible because it doesn't even make sense when you think about it, guys. You know, there is a process that you have to go through and 3PLs hold a national account for all retailers. All right, www.boxtruckcourses.com for your one-on-one -on -one coaching with me mark the mentor make sure you check the wise man out on my channel every monday i'm out